Hey folks. Um, so recently I did some some sort of repair and fix up work on my uh, Yamaha Pacifica 112. I did a complete uh, fret reprofile, um, including all the ends and all that kind of stuff. And one of the things I did was I, I down tuned the whole guitar a step to D, so not drop D, but an entire step down to D. And I strung it with, normally I string my half step down guitars with gauge 10s, but I strung this one with gauge 11 Ernie Ball Slinkies. And so the, the gauge 11 Ernie Ball Slinkies have uh, a plain G string, which is a 22, it's a 0.22 gauge string. And what I noticed was that I like to play, so I play power chords, but I like to play extended power chords where you add an octave of the fifth. So essentially you've got a root and an octave above that and then a fifth and an octave above the fifth. So two sort of stacked octaves. And I noticed that when you stack that extra octave, you're bringing the, the 22, the G string into the play and it just sounded awful. Um, now the guitar was intonated and it was in tune and it just... It just sounded terrible, no matter what I did when you played these relatively high kind of extended power chords. So I thought to myself, I'll go online, have a look around, and people were suggesting a, a wound G. Because um, I play primarily sort of metal, or at the very least rock. And they were suggesting that if you're not playing too many bends, and this is my this is going to be my rhythm guitar, I'll, I'll get another guitar for playing lead stuff. So I'm not really bending that G too much. Um, and what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd just show you a little recording that I did of these two, um, two different string sets. So the first set you're going to hear in here is, um, without, this is with the plain G from the, um, so what I had on there to begin with. So let's have a listen to that. <laughs> So I hope you can agree that sounds absolutely awful. Now, it sounds like that is out of tune, or at the very least, badly intonated, but the intonation was um, fine. I mean, I was doing the, the 12th fret method, and it was, you know, it was in tune. I also tried putting it slightly higher, slightly lower, and nothing, nothing was, was helping. Th this next one that you're going to hear is it with the wound G. Um, so let's have a listen to that. I don't know about you, but I think that sounds remarkably better. Um, the intonation method was the same. Um, again, checking using the same intonation method, and the tuning is exactly the same. And it just sounds worlds apart, in my opinion. So yeah, uh, I guess if you're playing lower gauge strings, because this does, according to what I've read online, this is a higher gauge string problem. And it's to do with that plain string just getting to the stage where it's it's, it's just that bit too big at a 22 gauge. Um, different styles, if you're not playing those extended chords, maybe it's not as bad. But to me, that as I say, that, um, that G string sticks out like a sore thumb. Um, the other thing that I found quite interesting is just it seemed to be slightly tighter in the second recording. Um, and I'm guessing that's maybe just from like a, a lack of the, the, the G ringing out or something along those lines. But certainly there seems to be slightly less noise, a little bit less, just just a bit more easier to, to play those chords. But anyway, I hope this helps somebody. But if, you, if you're struggling with, uh, if you're playing, you know, low tunings with big, big thick gauge strings or anything like that, you might want to give the wound a go. Um, Ernie Ball, these are Ernie Ball Slinkies again, and I'm going to try, Ernie Ball have a, a cobalt set that they do, which is a wound set from, from the offset so because I just had to buy a single string to replace this one string. Uh, I'm going to try it maybe on some of my lower gauge re strings as well, just to see if it makes a difference to those, because this, again, this was just on, on the, on the 11s. I want to see if it, a similar, a similar difference on the 10s, although the 10s to me don't sound bad. I don't hear this happening in the 10s, so... I'm, I'm kind of assuming it's a bigger gauge string thing. Anyway, I'll speak to you all again soon.